So let's learn some theory about uh, native plugins in Unity in general to help us get started. So what exactly is a native plugin and what do we mean by actually uh, by the definition of native plugin? So native plugin in Unity is just a platform specific code library. What these plugins can do is to actually access native uh, system features like operating system calls that otherwise would be not accessible through the C-Sharp API. So by the process of creating a native plugin, what we actually mean is creating this native library that we can invoke functions from and receive data back to our C-Sharp. There's also a good section in the Unity manual that describes uh, the usage of the native plugins. I will leave uh, the link uh, in the description of this video. But the problem with that is that it doesn't show you how to actually get started from scratch to start creating your plugins for mobile devices. Okay, so what files are actually treated as a native plugins in the Unity project? Here are the list of file extensions that uh, if you put these files into your Unity project, Unity will recognize them as native plugins. So these are the file extensions that will interest us in particular. For Android, those are JAR and AAR libraries. Uh, JAR is just basically a collection of compiled Java classes, whether AR is a collection of compiled Java classes packaged with uh, Android resources, Android manifest files, and so on. All the files that can be used as iOS native plugins are marked on the right. Please correct me if I made any mistake in the comments. There are also some special folder names that would be identified as plugins when put into the Unity project. Uh, the one that uh, interests us in particular are the .framework folders, so the folders that end with .framework. Uh, and those are usually how iOS libraries are shipped. So now that we know what is native plugin and which files and folders are treated as plugins in Unity project, let's explore the native plugins inspector in the next lesson.